on this edition of the news. Hasbro Pulse is coming up soon with perhaps what HasLab 2020 is. But guess what? In this video, you may find out what it really is. There's also Lego, brand spanking new being spotted, a couple more reviews online of brand new figures that aren't released yet, as well as we'll check out a nice little collection, pretend I'm holding a box up, of some new figures I want you to check out. All this and more coming up. Welcome everybody to Usual My Television today. First bit of news is those Lego sets that are brand spanking new here in Australia. Look at this! They're available in Sing Pop Culture, the Armored Assault Tank, the General Grievous Starfighter, and the Knights of Ren Transport. Amazing they dropped in Australia. It is one of the first places in the world to get your Lego from. So go down to Zing Pop Culture and check them out. Also available at EB Games if you want to pre-order through them. Um, also at Zing. Look at this. First time we've seen it in Australia. I was going to put it in the last video, but it dropped at exactly the same time. The Falcon. Lovely, lovely. $699 dues for October. So, yes, that it will be the, the, the place to get it here in Australia. Obviously, online stores here in Australia will pick them up as well, but that's the first brick and mortar that have it available to pre-order. There you go. Let's get into the James Toy Channel. Now, we talked about them last time, had the review on Tebow the Ewok. Now, check this out. That's right, they have the Admiral Akbar. It's a pretty cool looking figure. Not the greatest amount of articulation, but what can you get out of Admiral Akbar? But looks pretty stunning. I like that big flip top head. Fantastic, just like a fish. <laughs> um, the guy called Ed Riviera or E Riviera 94, I've shown him before. How is he getting these figures so early? He's absolutely killing it. He must work for Hasbro. If Hasbro don't know about this guy, with all these figures that are so damn early, I don't know what. Maybe they're just giving it to him on the sly and thinking he's the best because he always mwah, gives the best reviews. Well, anyway, what's he got up there? Stormtrooper, the Luke Skywalker Snowspeeder. Got that one too. Lucky, lucky fella. What's going on? Also want to mention, uh, recently we've seen Funko Pop. They're coming out with our concept series. Uh, Ralph McQuarrie drew some pictures years and years ago to say this is what's going to be in the Star War movie. Or Journal of the Wills, I think it was called. Something like that. Anyway, this has popped up. Lovely, lovely. Look at that. That prototype Boba Fett. If you're a Fett collector, you definitely want this one. It's got Galactic Convention, which is the Star Wars convention that's not going to be on. But they've all got the Galactic thing. That's the 2020 sticker. On the back of the box is also Star Killer. Dewey and Vader. So if you're keen on getting those, I think they come out uh, probably, what's it, we're in August? Oh, go early September. Yeah, I don't think they're too far away. They should be, you'll probably be able to get them next week, but the pictures just popped up online for the first time, so there you go. All right, before we get on to HasLab, as I like to do, as I rustle through my plastic bag, and that to the side, some new pickups. Ooh! Now, new wave of vintage collection. Quickly, whoop, there they are. <laughs> I have 
Clone Commander Wolf. Ooh, lovely, lovely. It's the thing about the antenna on him. People have been saying it's far too thick. If he stays in the packet, you won't notice it because it goes backwards instead of up. Uh, there we go. I like. K2SO! Much updated. One of the better characters from the Rogue One film. And we may see this guy back when they do that Cassian Andor series. I think he's going to be back in the lineup. And Luke Skywalker! In the snow uh, Stormtrooper outfit. Mean, Snowtrooper. <laughs> That's a damn good figure. It will look lovely up there next to my Han Solo, which you can't see. Anyway, um, you probably notice one missing. That's because when I took the pre-order, put them down, pre-order, pre-order, pre-order two. For some strange reason, they've given me two Lukes and no power droid. Uh, so that's why I miss out. <laughs> anyway, moving on from there. Got to give a big shout out to my buddy Paul. Give me a great deal on these. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. It is Han Solo in Carbonite. Yeah, it's got the a thickness on it. I don't know which version I've got. You know how there's supposed to be variations. The variations are very subtle, to, but yeah. If you want variations, check it out online. You'll see a couple of pictures where the dials on the side or the paint job is slightly different. Uh, well, something different, but great figure. Great, great figure. Black Series, vintage. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. And also, oh. Wow, I'm lo loving this one. Ta-da! This is the, I think it's San Diego Comic-Con Convention. 40th anniversary for Lomazuckus with the names round the right way. Or the original way. Better get these out of the packet. Yeah, the one thing is from the 30th anniversary when they did them in the small ones, the thing opened like this. This, they don't open, you open like this. So let's get the figures out. So the presentation is like, if you want to store this, it's like that. But... Oh, looking lovely. Here we got Zuckus, aka Forlom. <laughs> it's a damn good figure. Absolutely adorable. Um, I'm going to have to get it in front of the, in front of the Kenobis. And the other one, you guessed it, <laughs> Forlom or Zuckus. Yeah, if I get my Zuckus, I should have brought my Zuckus upstairs, and you can see the difference. He's much, much uh, in the in the the other one. He's uh, darker in the... Is it material? Yeah, there's soft goods. Oh, how about that? Didn't even know. Have a good look at that. All part of the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back. Brilliant. So, you've come here for some news. Some news on the HasLab. Oh, take a deep breath. Are you ready? Are you prepared? If you don't want to know, click away now. We'll see you in the next one. If you're still here, let's get into it. Not much rumour and speculation has been said about the HasLab. Uh, there will be, on the 21st of August, at 10am Eastern Time in the US, on the 21st of August, there will be a Hasbro Live, you know, Fan First Friday. It will be Star Wars related. That is where we're probably going to find out what it's going to be. However, I have some good sources that have told me what it is. And you may be surprised, you may be alarmed, you may be perplexed. Entirely your reaction. So, <laughs> believe it or not, if you've seen this image from Hot Wheels, there it is. Luke's X-Wing on Dagobah covered in moss. Now I'm going to show you a picture from Funko. And that is the, the landing on Dagobah. It's a big oversized pop. It has Yoda and he's lifting up the X-Wing. The figures I have in front of me are Luke Dagobah, Yoda, and Vader, because he appears in the Cave of Evil, and the dirty version of R2-D2. These characters will be needed for your HasLab X-Wing Dagobah playset. These may come in the, the playset, they may not, but that will be the HasLab. I don't know how big this thing is. I don't know if it is an actual playset or just a diorama, but it does include an X-Wing. And that is all I can sort of tell you about it for the time being. So, do you like this idea? Let me know in the comments down below. 
It is a rumour, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed this video. A little quick one today as well. <laughs> I have an affiliate. It is Amazon. Check it out. Link in the description down below. Buy yourself something nice and a little bit goes towards helping the channel out. Costs you no extra. Also, you can pick up a bit of merch at my Redbubble store. Anything you purchase, you'll get. And a little bit of proceeds helps out the channel. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at usualmike30 or on Instagram at usualmiketelevision. If you want to send some fan mail, it's up here hiding at PO Box 957 Lismore, New South Wales 248 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap the little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.